Got a couple more things we want to talk about today. Yep. Uh, the first one is a recent, anna- very, very recent announcement. Oh yeah. Uh, that Amazon Japan is going to start allowing you to purchase video games directly from them and have them shipped here to America. Thank you. Uh, oh. Which is awesome, especially for some of those physical collector's editions. Yes. Uh, that we just we never get any of those items. I can think of a lot of Final Fantasy ones that I would have loved uh, to be able oh. to spend an exorbitant amount of money on. Even, um, like, their Mario Maker stuff, their Splatoon stuff, their yeah. their version of the Mega Man Legacy Collection was excellent. I mean, just for Amiibo, I didn't even think about it, but, uh, I mean, just for Amiibos alone, this yeah. would have helped a year ago, thanks. Oh, absolutely. A year, I spent God knows how much money. Do you want to, can you kind of, and I don't, I don't, I mean, I've, I've bought it from you, that you had extras, <laughs> that you bought extra or whatever, you yeah. bought one specifically for me. Yeah. Um, but can you kind of go over your experience with ordering stuff from Amazon Japan before this announcement? So, ordering from Amazon, Amazon Japan is cheaper than ordering from our Amazon. It's like, their Amiibo is whatever Japanese money. Yen. Ha- yeah. It's called yen. yen. Is it cheaper yep. because the conversion is so favored in yes. our side? Yeah. So, um... The yen sucks. <laughs> so, for them, it's like 12, 1,296 yen, and for us, it ends up being like 9 bucks or something like that. So, I pay that, so I get 9 bucks for this uh, Fire Emblem Amiibo that's going to come out over here, be rare as shit, and cost upwards of 50 bucks for 4 or 5 months while it hasn't been restocked. Um, Lucena. Lucena, Robin, um, Ike, Marth, um... Did the other one come out yet, Roy? Roy comes out Friday. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, so, and they usually come out one to two months, sometimes three months earlier than we get them over here. So, I would always order them from Japan, but I would have to send them to, like, a forwarding service. So, I always use Tenso. So, because you can't, you can't buy it, you buy it from Amazon Japan, yeah, but they won't ship it to here. Yeah. Until here, until this announcement. Yeah. So you actually have to have them ship it to a forwarding service mm-hmm. in Japan. Yep. Who then will ship it to you here. Is <laughs> yeah. that right? Yeah. So it's so, basically like a P.O. box that you're ordering. Yeah. That you get from this company, basically. basically. Yeah. And what it's nice, it's free to have them shipped to that place. But then you have to pay them, obviously, to ship it over. Is it free no matter what or free if you order so much? It's free no matter what. So you just, like, they just have this space, and you get it shipped there, and then you pay them to ship it out. Um, so you're still only yeah. paying for shipping once. Yeah. You're just paying for the shipping from that third party yep. to you. Yeah. Instead of paying shipping from Amazon to yeah. you. Because shipping from, like, Amazon to this place is maybe a dollar. Okay. Um, How much is shipping from that third party to you? It it varies based on, like, weight, of course. Um so the, we're, I mean, we're talking international shipping. Yeah. So, so to have them ship, um, I want to say to have them ship four amiibo at one point, it ended up being like eighteen bucks or twenty bucks or something like that. So it brought the amiibo. Up. Was that by air? Um. Yeah. Air. It didn't come over on a boat. It didn't come over on a boat. No. It didn't stay over in the port. The uh the if you got it by air, um, it comes faster. You get it by boat. Obviously. Yeah, it's slower. Planes so. are faster than boats. Sometimes, That's, unless they crash. That's just basic logic. <laughs> so, um... It's not a Malaysia airline. <laughs> they just disappear. Sorry. So, uh, they, they come over, and, you know, you get them, and it ends up being, I don't know, it turns out, like, $11 for Amiibo. So you save, and you end up saving, like, two bucks, but you still get them, like, three months earlier. Um... So even with the shipping, it winds up being... Cheaper, Slightly cheaper. That way. yeah. Um, you save, you know, you save your time. You don't have to take off work to go stand in line. Yeah. And we take them all out of the box anyway, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, because you can't tell once they're out of the box where they like, no, they're from. the exact same figure. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you you can't tell, and you save money and time and gas and all this other stuff. But Amazon has shipped other things from Japan, mm-hmm. just not video game related stuff. Yeah. So the this sexy is sexy squids. Yeah. So this is excellent because once I start this, as soon as those Japanese amiibo go up for pre-order, I'll buy them. Yeah. I'm interested to see how much the shipping will be. Uh huh. Um, gotta be better than Tenso. Gotta be. I don't know, man. Eighteen dollars for four amiibo overseas. 
That sounds pretty cheap. <laughs> International shipping can be pretty expensive. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously, Amazon's a huge company, um, so maybe it'll be a little cheaper. I hope so. Uh, it, it's a great announcement because it's going to open up a lot of things, uh, like your sexy uh, beach volleyball fighting games that mm-hmm. uh, don't come over here, but they already have English subtitles in the game. Yeah. So you can get that now. I think it's actually just the Chinese version that has that. I don't know if the Japanese version does. Is that Dinner Live? Um, yeah, Extreme, whatever, the one that people freaked out about. The third one, I think. Yeah. Uh, you can you can import your Japanese Xenoblade Chronicles X with your little girl naked in it, <sighs> well, which that's... is disturbing. Please, please don't do that. <laughs> I probably should just not have said anything about it. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, I mean... Oh, you're gonna you're gonna try to see seventeen hundred seventeen hundred yen is how many see. dollars in American? It is thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred ninety one. Yen. I was looking over here. Oh, that's just from that's from some other seller. So click on it at so let's add so we, have, we're working with the amiibo wolf link. It's thirteen hundred yen. I have four in my cart right now. Why do you have four in your cart? So I have I already have the new Kirby series. Okay. In my cart right now. Um, that don't come out here until like June or July. Okay. And they come out here, uh when when do they come out here? Like in April. I was they can't they can't look stupid. I like I like Meta Knight. So they're thirteen hundred yen. One thousand one hundred and thirteen. One thousand one hundred and thirteen yen to dollars. Is nine dollars and eighty seven cents. Yeah. So we go check. Which out. is nice. That's nice. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can get it shipped here yet. If they've done it. Ship to America. Oh, they still won't let you do it. They won't let you do amiibo. Huh. I wonder if amiibo out. don't count. That would be disappointing. Well, let's go check out games. Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Final what? Fantasy. Okay. Do 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 Final Fantasy. Mystic Quest on Super Nintendo. Oh, let's see. Are any of those games? God, this know. whole thing looks so weird. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation game software. Yeah, that's what we're looking at, right? Uh, that's PS One. Let's see. This is Final Fantasy. Sure, whatever. Collectors. Just type, click on that type zero. Wait, this one? Yeah. Import version. Import version? Yeah. What the hell's that? It's mean? not even sold by Amazon. This is a horrible. We're horrible having experience. a terrible live attempt at this. It's awful. I, it's either way. It's interesting. I, was it just announced today? Um, that I don't know if it was official today. It was announced a while ago. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's pretty neat. Uh, the yen actually looks like it went up just a little bit here recently. Uh, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> what that it? can't be right. 1,300 yen for that game? Yeah. Bravely second end layer is only 1,300 yen, so it's $11. Is this the like the full game, not just the code? That can't be right. It's a download version. It's still eleven dollars. Are games that cheap there? Is Do they cheap? not pay sixty dollars for games? This is ridiculous. Do they seriously pay ten dollars for a game? <laughs> I want a game from over there. This can't be right. So this is their this is their Super Mario Maker. It's five thousand yen. What's five thousand yen? Uh, so that's like forty dollars. Okay. Who's this sold by? Oh, this is sold by Amazon. Okay. Add to cart. Uh, $44. Okay, that's not bad. So Nintendo puts their games on a discount in Japan. That's nice. Let's see if this can be shipped yet. I'm going to go here. Nope. Yeah, it can. Okay. So. No Amiibos, Amiibo but games count. only. So games count. So their amiibo don't count. So they're not counting amiibo. Which is funny because Amazon Prime over here counts amiibo towards their video game discount for. Prime. Well, that, I mean that's why I, that's why I assumed that amiibo would count. Yeah. Uh, and I think I was thinking I was listening to Giant Bomb, and I think they even made that same assumption that amiibo would count. Uh, yeah, that it was a pretty safe assumption to make, but apparently yeah. it, apparently it wasn't. Amiibo 
You yeah. heard it here, guys. We tried, and Amiibo do not currently, as of 10.03 p.m. Eastern Time... On 316. 316. 16. 16. Amiibo do not count as games. <laughs> that that person looked like a butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Save a picture of the purse. Send what? it out. Send it out. Tweet it out. <laughs> Save a picture of the purse. I'm trying. It, oh, no. Dude, you just lost that purse. <laughs> it looks like a butt, guys. <laughs> but anyways, uh, as of right now, uh, the Amiibos do not count as video games on the uh, shipping yeah. to America. That's ridiculous. It's pretty disappointing. Can we get squid porn oh, shipped boy. to America from Amazon? I don't know. You can't look at it on there. And I wonder if it won't let me ship it because they're pre-ordered. So Amazon.co. Oh, yeah, because we can't read that language. Yeah. That could be true. That could be. Yeah, just try to buy one so, that's not a pre order. Here's Lucina. You do that. I'm going to look to see if we can buy squid porn from Cause, Amazon Japan. Because I can't. The fact that anything actually came up when I type squid porn. Oh, boy. Um, Let me check this out here. Do they sell porn? I don't know. Squid sex, maybe? Hmm. Here's a Brad the Magic... Brad the Magic Giant Sex Squid and the T-Rex of Desire. Is that a book? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm i I'm very interested in this. Brad! Oh, boy. <laughs> Brad, Here, here's you, a, you keep doing that. I'll read. synopsis? <laughs> yeah. Here. So, guys, I just found a book. It's called Brad the Magic Giant Sex Squid and the T-Rex of Desire. Brad's Magic Set Squid Sex Capades, book one. English edition. Oh, God. Uh, the synopsis is Brad, <laughs> an everyday bisexual magic giant sex squid, was still Randy after a normal orgy tastic day. <laughs> but celebrity guest star Justice Sonia Sotomayor. <laughs> the Supreme Court Justice Sotomayor. <laughs> oh, my God. Had the solution. On a nearby mountain, the T Rex of Desire was waiting. Can Brad find her? And if she does, I thought Brad Brad's a girl. And if she does, huh. how hot and sexy will things get? Answer: Incredibly sexy <laughs> indeed. Also, you may burst a funny bone. This short sex campaign features tentacles, a squid <laughs> that turns into a dude, a giant dinosaur, a sex-positive fictional representation of a Supreme Court justice. And horgy boner tentacles, <laughs> earth shattering <laughs> orgasms, free jazz hobos, and a loving marriage. Number one in the Brad's Magic Squid Sex Capade series. <laughs> Welcome to a revolution in erotica, awesomely bad erotica, on purpose. <laughs> it's published by Sweet Love Monkey Press. <laughs> Oh my god, that is amazing. Is this a dollar? I will... At, can I get this in America? I <laughs> so, will... Oh, can we just do a whole episode about this book? Yes. I thought it was going to let me... <laughs> it's by C.C. Bonerton. Yes! Those are my initials. It's... <laughs> it's got... the. Can, 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 it's got a picture of a T-Rex... <laughs> And then there's an octopus that's not a squid. It's an octopus. <laughs> I think Brad might actually be an octopus. With a wizard hat. With a wizard hat. And they're in like a like a Jurassic era uh, swamp. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Thank you, Amazon Japan. So, while you did that... Okay. It looks like... Um, I'm going to look at other books by C.C. Bonerton. I just, <laughs> it's apparently just the one. So, while looking through the other Amiibo that Amazon uh, Japan sells, um, if it has already been released, you can't have it shipped. How much is the shipping? Don't know. Let me delete all of these. Jesus. <laughs> all right, I'll look see if there's any more good books. Because I've got, I've got a Pikachu uh, in my cart. Tentacles in the Suburbs? And as long Gay as tentacle erotica? Oh, boy. I mean, what other kind of tentacle erotica is there? After three years in prison, Jake is finding it hard to adjust. Suburban life in a small town doesn't offer any of the hard and dirty pleasures. The emphasis isn't mine, it's actually in 
the synopsis, let's bold it, <laughs> that he acquired a taste for during his incarceration, mm-hmm. or so he thinks. <laughs> but when he discovers the creature that lives in the basement, everything changes. A graphic erotic tale of hot gay sex. <laughs> Once again, not my emphasis, it's in this synopsis. That's out of this world. Oh boy. God, this is this is amazing. Find out how much shipping is or I need another tentacle book. Um let's see. Alright, another it. tentacle book it is. The Lake Tentacles by Lexi Lura. I got Sweet, it. Sweet innocent Rachel. I already started. Sweet God. innocent Rachel thinks she has nothing in common with her crush. Until one day she goes out by herself on the lake and falls overboard. Down in the murky depth, she finds a monster intent on giving her pleasure like she's never experienced before. But is she the first person the tentacle monsters claim for his own? That's the whole synopsis. <laughs> that's it. That's how, that's how it ends. <laughs> the world may never know. So, look this up in your in your converter. Oh no, this one oh, has the first boy. page! <laughs> Oh man, okay, I'll save that for later. <laughs> maybe we can do maybe we can do a bonus episode where we just like buy that Brad the Squid Sex book and read the <clears throat> <laughs> Hey, if you guys want to see me read a book about squid sex with dinosaurs, let us know. I uh, I will absolutely do I'll read all these books out loud. <laughs> I don't care if they're a thousand pages long. Lawnmower Pokemon. What is it? Um, so, 1,662 Japanese yen to U.S. That's dollars. for the whole thing. That's for the whole thing. So, $860 for shipping. Yeah. 860 yen. 860 yen. Uh, yen to dollars. Uh, 763. To ship one amiibo. To ship overseas. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, that's pretty good. And if you order it, you will get it between March 18th and March... 25th. Wow. So it's quick and it's cheap. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that can't be right. Two day shipping from Japan. Yeah, that there's no way that it will be two days, but who knows? Let's, let's put five in. How many, how many, what's <clears throat> shipping go up to then? Stay the same. Oh, you only get one. There's a purchase limit. Okay. Still. That's not bad. Wow, that is really cheap. It's it's even cheaper. You can actually buy f- eight Brad the Sex Squid books oh boy. for one ship product. <clears throat> I'm going to buy that book. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are. I can't believe how long we talked about the, the sexy squids, um, but the fact that this is all a real thing. Here's one called Sated by Tentacles. Just one more to sign us out of this segment. Uh, the Sand Tentacles. When young, innocent Sarah is alone on the beach, the kiss of the sun on her skin soon gets her feeling hot and horny. But after she's given in to temptation, the sand starts to shift beneath her, and she realizes she is not alone. Oh, shit. A huge tentacle monster lurks beneath the sand. And Sarah discovers she's not the only one who's feeling horny. Oh my god. Will Sarah be able to satisfy the sand tentacles? I like how they flip that. It's not the sand tentacles that have to satisfy Sarah. It's the Sarah, Sarah who has to satisfy, satisfy the, the tentacles. Sand- oh, damn it. Thought we were going to do it. <laughs> I thought we were going to do it. If you guys would like to see more of this series of Literotica, let me know. Nice. Brad the Giant Magic Sex Squid and the T-Rex of Desire, a C.C. Bonerton joint. As read by Daniel from Video Game Book Club. Published 2014 by Sweet Love Monkey Press. Copyright 2014 by C.C. Bonerton. Mm -hmm. All rights reserved. This book or any portion thereof may not be reproduced or used in any manner whatsoever without the express written permission of the publisher, except for the use of brief quotations in a book review. Bitch. We are technically reviewing this book right now. Absolutely. <clears throat> Once upon a time, 
There was a giant sex squid in the middle of Lake Get It Getting It On. <laughs> <laughs> Which is somewhere in Minnesota. Because they have lots of lakes and shit. Which is a perfect place to hide if you're a sex squid. His name was Brad. And he was really horny. Also, he wasn't a normal giant sex squid. He was a magical giant sex squid. You only find the normal ones in Mississippi and, like, Canada and places like that. He could turn into a human whenever he felt like it. And Bone Chicks also, whenever, and occasionally a dude, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> but one day, after boning, like, 50 chicks and 6 dudes at once, he fell on top of a pile of chicks and dudes, but still had a huge heart on Which, because he was a giant magic sex squid, was like 10 hard-ons. He said, man, what the fuck, I'm still horny. This is crazy balls. <laughs> From under the pile of chicks and some dudes, one of them said, hey Brad, thanks for the awesome sex. But if you're still horny, you should go out to the giant dick mountain because I heard there's a T-Rex out there. <laughs> CC Bonerton, I'd just like to say I did enjoy this sample of your Kindle ebook that sells for 99 cents on Amazon. <sighs> I'm probably going to buy it. 